The Gigabyte UD750GM is a decent PSU, but you won't see it among the best PSU because for $10 to $20 dollars more, someone can get the top-performing Corsair RM750X 2021 and the EVGA Supernova 750. We have already reviewed the 1000W member of the UD family, featuring a PCIe 12 plus 4 pin connector, and we thought to also take a look at the smallest member of the lineup with 750W max power. The UD750GM is the successor of the 750GM, the first versions of which had severe reliability issues. Gigabyte released later upgraded versions of the 750GM and paid 150GM units. Still, there was no way to distinguish them from the older ones, and given the low popularity of these models, the best way was to introduce a new line, the UD1, which uses the upgraded PGM platform. The Gigabyte UD750GM uses a fully modular cable design, and it is gold certified by 80 plus. In the cybernetic scale, it achieves platinum and standard plus plus in efficiency and noise, respectively. The make platform it uses is efficient and looks to have solved all reliability issues. A little bit too late, though, the 120mm fan uses a rifle bearing fan instead of the advertised hydrodynamic, and the warranty is long enough at five years. The PSU includes all of connectors to deliver its full power without any problems, Though it is weird that the ATX cable is longer than the EPS ones. Usually, it is the other way around. Moreover, there is no need for a floppy FDD connector. They could install a 4-pin Molex instead and provide a Molex to FDD adapter for users still needing this old connector. Lastly, it would be nice to have a 150mm distance between the 4-pin Molex connectors, which is the case for the SATA ones. The platform is provided by Make which had a tricky entry into the desktop PSU design with the PGM series. Make is mainly known for its power adapters. To the best of our knowledge, Gigabyte is the first to use this OEM for desktop PSU. The design is clean, and the heatsinks are large enough to cope with the thermal loads. The soldering quality is excellent, but the parts that Gigabyte used are not among the best, especially the cooling fan. The transient filter is complete, besides an MOV in an NTC thermistor and relay combo. We also found a discharge IC to restrict energy losses on the X cap. The filtering caps are by Lelin. On paper, their specs are top-notch, but I'm typically skeptical of lesser-known manufacturers. Recent problems in capacitor manufacturing so getting hold of high-quality caps is challenging, if not impossible. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.